we've got a fun video here for you today. We're going to run two tests, and uh, that involves the EcoFlow Wave 2 portable heat pump, and then the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. All right, you can see it's got the two battery expansion ports there, so it is the Delta 2 Max. And the test we're going to be running today is uh, how long will the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max power the EcoFlow Wave 2 on turbo mode air conditioning. So worst case scenario, you're pushing it as hard as it possibly can. How long will this battery power this for? And then we're going to go to the other opposite end of the spectrum, put this on eco mode, low fan speed, you know, the, the lowest power consumption mode possible, and then see how long the battery lasts. So that way you've got the two bookends. Worst case scenario, if you're just pushing it as hard as you can, and then if you're just uh, trying to let it use as little amount of power as possible. What, realistically speaking, is the amount of time it takes? Now this isn't a lab or controlled environment or anything. Uh, so you got to take the results with a little bit of a grain of salt, but I think these will be more accurate uh, results than you know what might be in literature somewhere uh, or something like that. What we got set up here is uh, I'm going to be filming the EcoFlow Wave 2 uh, screen and the stopwatch down here. Ignore the additional power station up here. This is just powering the phone that uh, is my stopwatch and uh, that way I can get the maximum runtime possible. I mentioned this in another video, but uh, just so everyone's aware, uh, the Wave 2 heat pump unit went off, nothing's on, the fan's not on, nothing, pulls a phantom load of 11 watts. So if you've shut it down and you're just letting it be off, uh, be sure and unplug it so that way you're not burning through uh, 11 watts of power continuously uh, unneedfully. Once again, this first one is going to be turbo mode. So let's fire this bad boy up. All right, we've got it uh, set to fan at the moment. So we're going to change the mode. Oh, there we go. Set to cool. And then we're gonna go to max. So, and 60 is the coldest it's going to go. Incidentally, if you're interested in how many watts and uh, different things, uh, you should probably be able to see on the um, Delta 2 as it ramps up, but I did do a completely uh, separate video comparing how much power this pulls off the DC versus the AC and if there's any temperature difference uh, with blowing out, so be sure and check that out. We're going to start the test at this point. All right, the Delta 2 Max. Currently estimating we've got 11 hours to go. It's still ramping up. You can see the wattage increasing. One interesting detail I wanted to show you. Notice that the estimated time remaining, five hours on the EcoFlow Wave 2. And uh, sorry if there's any wind noise. Notice that, get my finger in there, five hours. So both estimating, estimated time remaining displays uh, match each other. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's just let this run. For you, it'll just be a matter of a few seconds uh, over the sped up footage, and uh, we'll be back and see what the results are. Okay, so there we go. We can look here and uh, see. Got zero on the Delta 2 Max. So anyway, that uh, was actually uh, quite uh, impressive. I was not expecting it to be actually quite that long. I was thinking it would be a little shorter uh, due to inefficiencies and, uh, and what have you, but uh, very impressed with, uh, with how long that run. Again, that was on uh, max mode cooling. Let's uh, now do another test where we do uh, eco mode. Test number two. So once again, we've got the EcoFlow Wave 2 plugged in via DC to the uh, EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. This power station is just powering the camera and the stopwatch. And uh, we're gonna be monitoring and seeing how long the EcoFlow Wave 2 will run in cooling mode on eco mode attached to this power station. So let's get into that. So 
set that to eco mode on cooling and we're going to set our temperature down to the lowest it'll go again worst case scenario obviously if you turn it up to say you know 75 or something like that you'd probably get even more mileage but uh, in this case uh, I want to go worst case scenario in eco mode just like we did worst case scenario in max mode and that way it can basically only improve from here right <laughs> all right we're gonna come over here and uh, start the stopwatch So 13 hours, 12 minutes, 43 seconds. Uh, this uh, Delta 2 Max is officially out. So anyway, you definitely get a whole lot more runtime on the EcoFlow Wave 2 running on Eco Mode than you do on Max Mode, uh, substantially longer. So anyway, hopefully that uh, is helpful uh, to all of you out there. If you like this kind of content and these kinds of videos and tests, be sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any uh, future videos coming up. We'll catch you later.